hello and welcome everyone i welcome you all to this um, new lecture and in this lecture we'll see um, to add a uh, couple of um, nodes to the gns3 vm that we have um, installed and integrated with the gns3 desktop client application now as you can see on my left side these are the um, home nodes that i have but for example i have uh, to add a uh, a host that from where I can browse something and test the application right like HTTP or HTTPS so there's a very cool um, uh, node which is uh, downloadable from the internet only thing is that your uh, GNS3 VM should have the internet connectivity and it will have by default when you have kept the interface uh, on the NAT configuration so um, uh, what you need to do is just hit on this new template and say install an application from the GNS3 server which is recommended and hit next now from here you have a guest um, uh, category scroll down and you have firefox and you have one more thing which is called the uh, web term so you can uh, basically go and uh, hit install on this one and say now this has to be installed on your gns3 vms next and say finished okay once you do that you will see the web term here now in order to install it you just need to drag and drop in it into your working area and this will start um, basically uh, downloading the files of that docker okay so it will take, take some time and you can see the downloading of the file has been started this is a one-time process once it is downloaded you can use this multiple times this is a very cool um, tiny uh, uh, application which is containerized and uh, once this is there it will automatically show on your working area the project itself and then you can just um, use this as an application uh, it has multiple things inside you can use the um, browser you can use the terminal so i will show you that once this is uh, completely downloaded inside the gns3 vm uh, which i see should take not more than a couple of more seconds okay you can see that once this has been downloaded it, it came up here now it is right now uh, turned off because you can see the, the status is red let's click on start it should turn green and this is very tiny so it will just i mean start quickly double click on this this will be accessible while the while the via the vnc viewer and you can see um, by default the browser is open you can close it close the tab now right click um, uh, um i mean left click on on the screen somewhere you will find this uh, menu wherein if you click on the terminal it will open the cli of the system yeah from here you can type in command like if config right and you can have applications um, like editors nano or you can have the Mo mozilla firefox you can have communication shells you can have the system monitoring inside monitoring let's see what it is there so top okay this is the top command uh, so you can just do this on the terminal as well and, and and find out the thing right and also you can see the uh drive there um anyways so the important thing is you can have the mozilla firefox and from here this can be um inside host and and if you try to visit a web site maybe you want to uh to check the web application filtration on your um, uh, node which could be a firewall in between right so this is a very handy tool which is called the web term another one that i want to show you is to again follow the same process um, and go to the guest scroll down this is firefox and and you can have the rocky linux as well and then there is a tiny core linux here so if you want a um, small instance of Linux, you can do that. And to um, have this, uh, you need to have this image of uh, Linux um, tiny core IMG, right? Or or you can have this, um, uh, what do you say, QCOW2. Uh, but uh, I have 6.4, but that's a QCOW2. So I'll create a new version and I'll say um, tiny, um, tiny Linux iPhone 6.4 so this is what the name should be I'll copy this say okay and basically this should be the name dot qcow 
and this is what we need and I want to import a file of tiny which is basically inside my evng here and if I go to my if I see Linux no inside chemo so if you see here this is what I want to rename as as this okay once this is done just double click and this will start importing it inside the uh, gns3 vm okay once this is done uh, you should be good to go now click on here and say next and say yes and say finish now once you do a finish you will see this here tiny now you want to configure the terminal maybe change the symbol here to uh, something which looks good um, visually right um, so let's wait for this and then uh, yeah and then you can have say something no Linux is not there so you can have a client yeah so you have two clients so let's have this one and say okay so uh, yeah and also you can rename this if you want um, so this is too big right so you can say tiny Linux like this 6.4 okay and now i can drag it drop it here and let's say start and double click on this this should also open up in the ultra vnc viewer and after some time this is going to start yeah so you have the tiny linux here this is just the cli version okay so this is one more thing and let's let me add one more which is the firefox next okay sorry guest guest and if you see and go to the firefox install this so this is the tiny core that we have and maybe um here we can have the gui version and let's say start double click on this it uses the same uh, linux 6.4 image and expecting the GUI to load yeah so instead of running on the Linux tiny go like that you can basically run this under the firefox and have the gui mode here so this is like more of a linux flavor if you don't want to just use the the web term wherein you will have only the browser now here you have to have more um, control over the um, host but this is again a tiny a very uh, light host so uh, two things right so you can have the full cli version which is the tiny this which are basically running on the same um, image so you can have two um, nodes with the same image and it can, it can have like uh, multiple usages yeah so that would be all for this video i will um, see you in the next video we will see how we can add more nodes thank you and bye bye for now